Hello and welcome to Stacy's Secrets. I'm Stacy. You know, the, the blizzard outside has me really thinking about summer. Or at least really, 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 really missing summer. I am going to show you how to turn a dress into a onesie. Without further ado, let me go change out of my very warm clothes into this tiny summer outfit. All right, let's do this. <laughs> For this how-to video, you will need a little summer dress. You can use any summer dress as long as you are able to step into it. This one has a low back and it goes off the shoulders, so I will be able to slip this on once the bottom is zipped up. We're going to turn this into a jumper. Let's get this thing off me, put some warm clothes on it, and I'm going to show you how to make it yourself. Boom! Mm, go. Cool. All right, here's the dress. The first thing you need to do is tell your cat not to lie exactly where you need to start. So, take another piece of material, move it out of the way, and get her to lie on this new piece of material. You could just sit down, that'd be great. Ah, nope. Come back down here. Next, <laughs> turn your dress inside out and you want it so that the front is upwards facing you. My dress has a liner. We actually don't even have to worry about it but we are gonna pull it up so that you can see things a little bit easier. You're gonna take the middle of the dress and you're gonna fold it in half. This is the front of the dress. This is the back of the dress and then you're gonna match up your sides and sushi is going to come be in the way. You take some pins. You're going to pin along the four pieces of fabric right at the front crotch of <laughs> your dress. While we have sushi helping us out, holding the front of the dress down, you're going to cut along here a little bit high and not too wide. Take out the pins. There we go. All right, so she hold that part down. I do this out. Lay the material flat. Make sure the lines match up. And you're going to pin this area and sew around the crotch. <laughs> this is what you will have. Let's get sewing. So this is what you end up with. Now, you can stop here if you want because this is a basic romper, but if you'll notice, it's a little bit baggy in the crotch. That's not a good look. Back to the drawing floor. <laughs> I have folded it just the way we did before so that this is the front seam. This is our cut that we made before, and the back is over here. Right. Take a pair of your favorite shorts Fold them in half as well, so that that crotch part is in the front. Like so. We only want to sew two pieces, so we're trying to get this piece kind of away. Rest. So we're going to take out this part. Something I didn't realize is that maybe before you cut this part, you can actually just sew along that line and then cut it. Probably a better idea. Ta-da! The front looks a lot nicer. You don't have to worry about the slip within. It's just gonna fall where it wants to fall. That is what it looks like. So I really hope that you liked this video. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up. If you are too lazy, but you like the video and you really like rompers, you can check out One Hit Onesies on Instagram and you can go to Stacy's Secrets on Etsy. Comment below if you have any questions. If you made one, I'd love to see it. Send me pictures, <laughs> hashtag one hit onesies on Instagram. I will be back next Thursday to create another video for you. So make sure you come and check back to my channel on Thursday for your next video from Stacy's Secrets. And remember, it's a secret. Now I gotta stop doing this position because I'm about to fall over. Brr, I'm gonna go put something warm on. This is gonna sit in my closet until summertime comes.
Sushi, thank you so much for your help today. You didn't get in the way at all. 